Hello everyone, and welcome back to RuneScape. Today we're going to be doing the penultimate's pirate quest, A Clockwork Syringe. And oddly enough, to start this one off, we should just click on our house portal. I've delivered a package to your player-owned house. The delivery note is stuck to the player-owned house portal. Thanks, Pete. No thanks necessary, Kebab. Now I've got more posts to deliver. Yeah, he's delivered quite a few parcels to me recently. See you around. Not if I see you first. Alright, and he's gone. Yeah, I've been getting parcels while doing Wilderness Slayer, which has been fun, I guess. Um, I've only done a few tasks, though. It's not like I've been doing a ton of it. Ah, uh, here we go. A Clockwork Syringe. Yeah, I'll take the delivery note. Alright, we can read it. And accept the quest. There we go. One large and totally inconspicuous crate. Good stuff. And now we select it again. And we will investigate the mystery package. Oh nice, it's moving around. Oh no, it's a guy. Yep, a boss fight in your own house. This is always a pretty cool thing. And for some reason I don't have a magic spell selected. Which I thought they fixed that. But whatever. Now we will murderize the barrel the barrel chest mark two. Stealing my own naming conventions from my main account. I was using it before they were. But yeah, it's not a hard fight. Like I don't think any of the combat in this quest will be that difficult. This quest came out in 2011. So I think it was post the change of um, HP to Constitution, but obviously still well before evolution of combat, so still outdated combat, to say the least. And now we're in the house. Got an estate agent and a zombie head, apparently. What are you doing here? I'm just here to make sure the repairs are all satisfactory. Repairs? Yes, I heard all the commotion and sent out our repairmen. They should have restored everything in your house to the way it was before your little incident. How much is this all going to cost me? Cost you? Nothing at all. This is all on insurance. Luckily for you, the standard player-owned house contents insurance policy was recently updated to include acts of zombio mechanical piracy. Is it that much of a widespread problem that the policy needs to include it? In all honesty, no. In all honesty. Um, I never thought it would happen, so I put it in to make the list of covered circumstances seem more attractive. So I took a gamble and lost on that one. Ah well, you can't win them all. Unfortunately, the insurance policy doesn't include removal of the perpetrators of the attack. You'll have to deal with him yourself. That's fine. I was about to have a quiet word with him anyway. In that case, I shall bid you a good day and return to the office. I'll just be taking that delivery note as evidence for your claim, you see. And to keep it out of my bank, I'm sure. That's fine. Here, take it. Good day. So, if I've got insurance, how much is that costing me? I've never paid the insurance. Oh well. Who sent you? Why did you attack me and smash up my stuff? I'll never tell you anything. We'll soon see about that. Um, alright, so we can do things to the zombie now. Oh, this is kind of a thing. So they have, like, different things, but it feels like I can just kind of keep doing them, and eventually it'll get there. Like, I don't feel like you have to actually use strategy for this. Maybe you do. But, I don't think so. There we go. Okay. Tell me what you know. Who sent you? You've made some powerful enemies, thanks to that inquisitive nose of yours, Kebab. I was sent here to eliminate ye on behalf of the one most powerful. Give me the name. Ye know of whom I speak, Kebab, captain of this albatross, condemned to the deaths by those friends of yours. Yearn, apparently. Um, 
He's back to wreak his vengeance on all ye. Rabbit Jack. Aye, Kebab. You've caught his eye now with all the trouble you've been causing us. What are his plans? Tell me now. I'm one of many, Kebab. Tell me how you think Mosley Harmless will fare against an army of us barrel chests. That's right. They be being made even as we speak. You're doomed. All doomed. Where's the factory? Where are they being made? I'll never tell ye. Even through torture worse than ye've already given me. Arg, I need to warn Bill Teach as soon as possible. And you're coming with me. What? Ye can't be serious. Now I need to go and warn Bill Teach before it's too late. You can't treat someone like this. Arg, there be fluff in the bottom of your bag. It be getting in me nose. Alright, well I guess we're off to Port Phasmatus then to speak to Bill Teach. Makes sense to me at least. Although if we follow what we did last quest, we have to go all the way to Mosley Harmless before we can actually speak to him about anything. To get away from the spooky weather that pervades this area. So we will do that, I suppose. I think there's still a little bit more combat in this quest, so I will keep my combat-related items on me instead of banking them. I don't think this quest should be, like, too ridiculously long, but it could be. It all depends how it goes. Oh, right, wait, wait, no, what are we doing? We have to get out of here. Alright, now that you've taken me all the way to the island, Bill, now I'll warn you. Bill, I have urgent news about Rat. About you know who. I can tell from your eyes that this be no joking matter, lad. I think we should go somewhere more private to talk. You know, safe panicking the locals and that. All right, Bill, where should I meet you? There be a particular seat in Joe's house of rum, in the corner. You'll know it when you see it. Sit in that chair and ask Joe for a long drop. He'll ask you if you're sure. You reply, I drop me. Joe is in Northern Mosley Harmless. Hang on, what? Trust me, Kebab. Alright, I guess. Now we're getting to proper sneaky stuff here. Alright, so I assume that that's just like the bar that's up here or something? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Well, there's two bars, isn't there? Which one's it going to be? I assume it's that chair that has the sit option. You know, chairs don't generally have a sit option in the game. That's just how it works. You can't sit down in video games. What'll it be? A long drop. You sure? I drop me. Take a seat. Look at that, sitting down. Oh no, I just fell through the dirt. Alright, and here we are, secret place. Nice entrance, lad. Why is it that whenever a pirate tells me to go somewhere, I end up with a headache? I'm sure I have no idea what you mean, Kebab. Now to business, what is it you wanted to tell me? I've got urgent news about Rabid Jack. Why can't you ever learn not to say that name, lad? Honestly, if he'd let us just tell him before, we wouldn't have said it. Damn it, Bill, we don't have time for this. Listen to me. You're worrying me, Kebab. I've never seen ye this riled. Tell me what's happened. I was attacked in my home by an assassin. Part zombie, part mechanical, all pirate, and all evil. He claims he was sent by you-know-who and is one of an army being built to attack mostly harmless. That be a tall tale, lad. You know our rules and customs regarding this matter, the oath we all swore. I trust ye have evidence. Yes, I do have evidence. Well then, let's see it. Put it on that table over there. I mean, that's a weird way to request evidence, but okay. What are you looking at? Bill? I'm just thinking, Kebab. I wish I could say this is the weirdest thing that we've been through together, but it's not. Come on then, lad, tell me what's going on. Well, I was in my house. And then I 
brought his decapitated head here to you. Lad, if what you're saying be true, we all be in grave danger and we need to act now. That's why I brought him here. I subjected him to brutal torture, but he wouldn't give me the location of the factory where this army is being built. Well, Kebab, fortunately there be more than one way to skin a cat, and I happen to know quite a few of them myself. Ha, you'll never get me to talk, you great Jesse. What do you think you can do that'll scare a dead man's head? I never said I planned to scare ye. Kebab, I need you to do me a favor. What is it, Bill? I think I can get our friend here to crack his lips for us, but I need some special equipment for the job. Equipment I happen to know Braindeath has in abundance. Okay, so you need me to go and pick it up? What am I getting from him? A head vice or maybe flesh-eating ants? Ooh, is it hot pokers? Something far worse than all of those combined. Something so terrifying, details cannot be divulged. You need to ask Braindeath for a... Twiblick Night Special. You want me to ask Braindeath for a Twiblick Night Special? Twiblick Night Special? Ha, whatever that be, it don't scare me. Aye, Kebab, a Twiblick Night Special. I cannot tell ye of its unspeakable contents or the horrific things it has inflicted upon the world. Until ye prove to me and Braindeath ye can be trusted to keep it a secret. But he'll entrust ye with its transport to me as long as it's securely locked. Bring it back here to me when you've got it. Here, Kebab, take this. What is it? It be a spell sheet containing two ancient piratical spells. One can teleport ye from Mossley Harmless to Braindeath Island. The other does the reverse. Wow, that's handy. Thanks, Bill. That is actually very nice. Side effects may include minor headaches. What was that? Oh, nothing. Get going, lad. Time is not on our side. All right, well, I guess we're going to brain death. Oh. Yep, what could that space possibly be for? Oh. Well, I guess we have to go outside. Kind of annoying it doesn't work in the room where it's given to you. But whatever. Now let's try. Nice. Ow. Yep, it makes Pirate Pete show up. Kind of weird how that works. But there we go. Now we're here, now we need to speak to Brain Death himself, which is right here. Hey there, lad, what can I do for ye? I'm here on behalf of Bill Teach. We have an urgent situation unfolding, and he has asked that I requisition the Twiblick Knight Special. These be dire times indeed if we be resorting to that. No doubt you've been told that what you're asking me is not for a trifling request to be taken lightly. I'd usually drop everything to help you out, you know that. But I have problems of my own right now, lad. You don't seem too pleased to be telling me about this. Well, it's not a happy tale, Kebab. Some of me brewers have gone missing. How long have the brewers been missing for? Where were they last seen? Well, they went to investigate an odd doorway-looking thing that was uncovered in a minor earthquake to the north of the island. No one else could fathom it, but these three were fresh recruits that just sailed in from Damonheim, and they said they could figure it out, so I sent them through. That were three days ago, lad. Hmm, so if I rescue these brewers, you'll prepare the Twiblick Knight special for me to take to Bill Teach? Aye, Kebab, that I will. Although I'm not expecting a rescue at this point, if you find them, bring me proof of their fate. That'll suffice. While you're searching, I'll see about preparing the Twiblick Knight special for ye. One more thing, lad. There'd be water leaking out of the doorway-looking thing. There's a fairly good chance that whatever's on the other side is flooded. You'll need to take something that'll let you breathe underwater. I have my diving kit right here. That were convenient, Kebab. Good thinking to bring it along. Anything else, Kebab? Um, nothing. Nothing, Captain. I'll be on my way. As you were, then, lad. Alright. Um, how do we get outside? From up here, I think. A lot of diving involved in the pirate quests. I don't know if there's diving in pieces of hate, but we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Alright, so he said... Where was it? Did he say it was on the northern end? As in... Up here? I don't actually know where it is. But we will find it. Ah, there it is. 
All right, we just got to get past this jerk. Are you all right? Who goes there? Our land lover. Do I have to actually do this thing? Can I just like run past him? Are trying to get away, eh? Well, you'll never sneak past me. I'm the best lookout this crew has ever seen. That is the most amazing thing I have ever seen. Wow, that was easy. I don't know why he's always guarding this thing. Like, how did the other crew people get over here? Did they do the same thing? I have no idea. Obviously, this quest also came out after Dungeoneering. Captain Braindeath said to expect a flood. I should wear my diving kit before going in. Okay. And here we are. These guys can poison you, so let's murder them real quick. Get out of here. Alright, well, he's dead. And killing one of these crabs should be an achievement, maybe? Yeah, there we go. One of the two achievements we need. Alright, I'm gonna figure out what to do in here, though. While I just auto-attack stuff. Alright, where are we at? We're pretty far in now. Um... Let's see, let's see. Um. Okay, I think we just have to explore, basically. I know, we'll just run around and see what happens. It's too hard to find out what we're actually supposed to do. I feel like I remember there's like three ways to go and each one's gonna have like one thing to find or something. Oh no, I've been poisoned. I can just go ahead and poison purge this. I really want to. Where's Poison Purge? Almost never use this thing, but I might as well. What's the point in having it if I never use it? Alright, so what's gonna be here? Ah, Dead Brewer. Alright, his name is Trent. Good stuff. My augmented staff of limitless air has reached level 3. Goody goody. I also got some stone spirits over here. Silver ones. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen a silver stone spirit. And you can't use a surge in this area. That's lame. Not that it really saves you that much time. Oh no, I can't cut one second off my time. The end. Alright, where is he? There he is. Okay, can you leave me alone, guy? Why am I not auto-retaliating? They need to fix that. Where if you do certain things, you don't auto-retaliate. That could get you killed someday. Okay, you go away. And you go away. Spike your and salvage, huh? Not a bad drop. Alright. Come on, dexterous components interrupting me. Okay, his name was Jimmy. Apparently we found his name tag, even though we didn't get the dialogue for it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, final section. It would be interesting to see like a an underwater dungeon like this as like an actual dungeoneering training method. Alright, there he is over here. Will I be able to search it? Probably not. Let's go ahead and murderize the crab. You will die, crab. The lack of music down here is weird. I wonder why there's no music. Is there supposed to be music? There was no music unlocked, so probably not. Okay, crabs. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Okay. Oh, come on. Why am I not... There we go. So yeah, they're all dead. I mean, they weren't wearing, like anything to help them breathe under here, so it's not really surprising that they died. I'm just kind of wondering why they went that far in before drowning. Like, if I came underwater in this area, I would turn around and leave, not swim all the way to the end and die. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back through here. And we can get the Twiblick Knight Special. Hey, what are you doing out there? Nothing? Well, Captain Donnie said no living landlubbers were allowed out of the compound. So get yourself back in here, or you're for it. 
All right. Oh, we can just go up right here, I guess. Or is this not connected? Oh, it's connected. I just never used this direction, apparently. All right. Clockwork certain. Hi, what is it, Kebab? I found the three missing brewers. I can tell from your eyes it isn't good news, lad. Let's have it. Rory, Jimmy, and Trent, all dead. I'm sorry. All right, feared as much, Kebab. What's going on down there? Well, the place was full of zombie surgeons injecting rum into the wildlife. The crabs down there are giant and very aggressive now. So that's what the swine was doing with me, rum. Well, he'll get nay more from me. Of that, ye can rest easy. Anyway, lad, back to business. I've got the Twi'blik Night Special for ye right here. But even ye aren't getting it without swearing the oath. Do you think yourself ready, Kebab? The oath ye be about to swear carries with it untold weight. The secret you will be entrusted with will must be carried to your grave. Yes, I'm ready. Then repeat after me. I, Kebab, swear to thee. I'm not going to read it twice. What happens at sea stays at sea. None shall learn of the oath from me. And if anyone does, Captain Braindeath will smash me face in. With an anchor. And he's definitely not kidding. Okay, Kebab, you're ready. The oath be sworn, prepare yourself. You have what you came for, lad. Take it back to Bill Teach. He has the key. Alright, well, let's go ahead and hop on over there. I think you can get an upgraded form of this from Pieces of Hate. That lets you tell between more of the islands, like maybe Harmony Island and stuff. I don't know. Dragon Tooth 2. Could be something like that. I'm assuming we're going to have to go to the secret room in order to do this because that's where the zombie is. So I'm not going to bother speaking to Bill Teach in any other location. I'm not sure why this is highlighted. We're going over here. And we got to repeat this little conversation here. And we'll fall through the dirt. Get a good look at falling through the dirt this time. Yep. Nice. What is it, lad? I have it. Whatever it is. You have it? Yes. And it here, Kebab. You swore the oath, didn't ye, Kebab? I did. It was a particularly brutal oath that I don't intend to break. Good, then I'll unlock it for ye. There, it is done. Open the Twi'blik Night Special once you've mentally prepared yourself, then come back here. Yes. Yes. Just open it already. The moment of truth has arrived. What in the world? I guess I need to talk to Bill Teach about the plan now, but I'm not sure I want to. It's full of wigs and stuff. So, uh, I opened the Twi'blik Night Special. So I see, lad. I'm a little hesitant to ask, but... Um... How are we going to use this to get information? We're going to give our friend here a makeover, lad. Come again? I come again? We're going to make ye the prettiest thing to ever sail on the several seas. Wait, let's be reasonable about this. And then we're going to be parade you around in front of your old crew. No, ye can't. Well, lad, would ye do the honors of choosing how we beautify our friend here? With pleasure. Right then, Kebab, time to choose how we make our guest here pretty. Ye, ye don't scare me. First off, choose a wig. Shall we give her a bob, a bun, a fringe, or pigtails? Um, I don't know if it matters, so we're just going to go with whatever I choose. Pigtails. Pigtails, do I look like a schoolgirl? Now, on to some color for those cheeks, Kebab. Um, well, he didn't say Kebab there, but I did. But what color shall we pick? Um, pink, obviously. I like me cheeks as they are, necrotic. We need to bring out those eyes, but which eyeshadow would go best on our friend here? 
Um, green. Green won't be so bad, I guess. I'm already gangrenous. Now we need to make those lips kissable. Well, lad, um, we'll go with red. But everyone will think I'm a harlot. Well, I think that's everything, lad. What say we get started? You're going to be so pretty when we're done, you'll turn heads. Aye, some stomachs too. Stay back, leave me be. No, just no. No. Yeah, that's the disadvantage of having your head chopped off is you can't actually resist anything. Ah, uh, there we go. Our decisions have worked perfectly. All right, I'll talk, I'll talk. Good stuff. I'll talk, ye and your friend get ready to listen. Um, yeah? Okay, I guess I have to talk to Bill then. Right, lad, time to ask our lady friend here where she comes from, Savvy? Tell us what we want to know or you'll get more pampering, you pretty little thing, you. All right, I hope you're listening well. You need to start out sailing with a relative baron of 223 degrees from Harmony and carry on for 500 cable lengths. Wait, what? Don't interrupt him, lad. So we sail south here, south out of here for 50 nautical miles. Then what? If you look east, you'll see a beacon just within your arc of visibility. Sail directly toward it for 120 fathoms, then bear starboard hard, and I mean hard. You'll see a rock formation. You need to be listing on your beam ends to get yourself under it and find yourself in a lagoon. Not the lair of the many tentacled beasts of unpleasant encounters. Aye, the very one. You need to sail straight out the other side, then club haul starboard as soon as you hit open water. Sail around the reef, making sure you stick close to land, and you'll see the island in the distance. That'll be where you're aiming. Hang on a second, that'd put the factory on Blood Splatter Isle. Aye, what's your point? Blood Splatter Isle will be Cardinal South from here. Why didn't you just say so? I were hoping you'd take the long way around and sink on your way. You'd be dangerously close to another makeover pedal. I'd watch myself if I were ye. No, anything but that. I'll be straight up with you from now on, I swear. Um, Bill? What is it, lad? Do you know where we're sailing to now? Aye, Cardinal South. We'd have found the place quicker if we'd set sail without asking our hairdresser's practice dummy here for directions. Hey, zombie heads are people too, you know. Then let's hit the waves. Ah oh, yeah, we're going surfing. Well, Kebab, what are you waiting for? Meet me aboard the ship. We can talk all you want when we get to where we're going. I, I don't think that's the case. I think we should be, like, fighting zombies when we get there. Not talking. Oh well, I'm gonna get my main outfit on again as well. Alright, let's get over to the ship, though. I guess we're gonna sail from there. I don't know. I kind of assumed that's what we're doing, but you know, I'll probably get over there and say, no, we have to leave from the hideout. Because that's how these things tend to go. Alright, Bill. Where are you? There you are. Are you ready to go, lad? Yes, let's get underway. Right ye are, kebab. Alright, we're in the middle of the ocean. Aha, there ye are, Kebab. We'll be approaching Blood Splatter Island soon. I have to tell you, lad, I'm still hoping you're wrong about you-know-who being involved in all this. What? But the zombie head, he told me himself that he's involved. Aye, so ye say, but he never mentioned that name to me. Don't fret, though, Kebab. We're on our way to investigate and shut down the facility now. If you-know-who really is involved, you'll find the evidence needed to prove it. While you're there, no doubt. So if I get conclusive evidence of his involvement in all this, will you finally actually do something about it? Aye, lad. If you get me something that backs up what our makeover mannequin said about this being a planned attack on Mostly Harmless, action will be taken. You can rest assured of that. And then he eats the uh, steering wheel there. Um... We be approaching visual distance to the island, Kebab. You'll have your answers soon. Incoming! Oh no. Arg, what's happening? 
We'd be under fire, lad. Hang on to something. I'll just stand here. Phew, that were a close call, Kebab. We're lucky to not be sitting pretty at the bottom of the sea right now. Where did that attack come from, Bill? Seems our guide forgot to mention the welcoming party. We were fired on from the island itself. You didn't expect them to roll out the red carpet and just let you sail on in, surely. You really are trying my patience, devil. I suggest you realize the gravity of your predicament. I'd hate to have to pierce your ears. Ack. Nice big gold hoops. They look just darling on a gal like you. Alright, I get the picture. Are we ever going to get to the island now? We'll be sunk for sure if we try sailing in. Aye, that we will. I have a plan, though, Kebab. I knew you'd think of something, Captain. What is it? Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Now, before I go telling ye, ye has to promise to hear it out all the way to the end before you start objecting and complaining. Always a promising start. I'm, I'm not going to like this, am I? Depends on how healthy your sense of adventure is, lad. Now, here's the plan. We can't very well sail on into the dock, as you've rightly pointed out, because we'd be riddled with holes and sunk before we made it halfway there. Yes, that's true enough. We also have limited resources on the ship. All we have to hand is cannons and cannonballs, gunpowder, some crates of, and barrels and some chains, and a zombie head in a box. Now, I have a plan involving these objects that ends up with ye on the island. Go on. What you'll need to do is use some of the gunpowder to flash heat a chain and smith it to a cannonball. There be a hammer and anvil in the hold along with plenty of powder, cannonballs, and chains. Then you need to attach the other end of the chain to one of the empty barrels. And then? And then you sit in the barrel and you put the cannonball in the cannon with a double dose of powder, then fire yourself to the island on it. Well, lad? You want me to make a cannonball barrel bolt, barrel boat, sit on the barrel, and then fire it across the sea to the island using a cannon? Aye, that's about the size of it, lad. Um... Awesome, I'll get right on it. That's what I like about you, lad. You're always enthusiastic, and you're daft as a box of frogs. Thanks. Wait. Aw. Yeah, I mean, I've shot myself out of a can before, so, I mean, is it really that amazing that I wouldn't care that much about it? Oh, well, we gotta go gather some items, I guess, wherever they're hiding. I genuinely don't know. Maybe downstairs? Uh, where is it? Ah, the gun locker. That probably has some stuff. What you got for me, gun locker? Cannonball, anything else? Nope. All right. I was just curious, that's all. If it's going to be one thing per thing, then we can go ahead and do this. Although, if those stack, we probably need more than one then, right? I will grab multiples. Alright, anything else? We I don't need a tinderbox, do I? Surely not. Um, I need a heated chain, so do I just use this? Ah, there we go. Okay, so now we have a chain and a cannonball. Do I just use it on the barrel? Okay, we've done it. Sweet. You know, I like how Wind Waker did the whole shooting someone to an island thing a little more than this. Like, if I had to choose a method, I would choose neither because both would kill you. But, you know, if I had to die, I would want that Wind Waker one, I think, over this one. Because this one's more likely to, like, I don't even know what it would do. Rip your legs off. I have prepared the cannonball barrel boat for travel to the island. Well, lad, all you need to do now is load two doses of gunpowder, grab the barrel, fire the cannon, and hold on for dear life. Okay. Two doses. Well, luckily, I did bring multiple doses. So I just... I mean, shouldn't it matter which cannon I use it on? I guess it's this one, then? Um, what's going on here? Well, it, it should be this cannon, then. Oh, just take the ride, then. Well, here goes. Nice. And away I go. All 
All right, look at this place. All right, perch rock. What's this? What indeed, Kebab? Don't tell me you've forgotten. Okay. I certainly haven't. Uh, do I know you? Kebab, you wound me. How could you forget the devastation you inflicted? It's still escaping me, I'm afraid. I kept your shirt, you know. What? And the accordion, too. No, it can't be. The seagull from the rock that I fired at young Ralph said? Very good, Kebab. Tremble before me, for I am Baron Von Pattencrapper. So, what are you doing here? I had come here after hearing you were on your way to wreak my revenge on you for firing me out of that makeshift vacuum pump. But then, shock, I watched you with my own beady eyes as you strapped yourself to a cannonball and fired yourself across the ocean. That's the only reason I haven't already unleashed havoc and devastation upon you, Kebab. I want to know why you would inflict such a thing upon yourself. Is this your way to atone? Uh, yes, I'm so deeply sorry. How unexpected. Well, Kebab, I accept your guest your gesture. Um, consider us even from now on. We have more pressing matters than an old grudge to contend with. Now, I have a proposal for you. So what's the nature of this proposal you mentioned? Ah yes, to business. Well, Kebab, you and I have a common enemy, and I propose we work together to, f to defeat it. What do you mean? I refer to the lumbering monstrosities that opened fire on your ship as it tried to approach the island, of course. They have also been firing upon me each time I attempt to leave the island. I am restricted to flying around within the watering confines of this island prison. We both have something to gain here, Kebab. I propose we collaborate and conquer. But how can we beat them? I am a very strong flyer, Kebab. I can lift heavy objects. Say, cannonballs from that pile over there. However, it takes all of my concentration to do so. Also, his head keeps doing this weird thing. That's really weird. You are a summoner of considerable skill. I propose you commune with me and control my actions to allow me to rain devastation from the sky and obliterate our enemies. So, Kebab, are you ready to rain destruction on our foes? I'm ready to begin. This is also very Wind Waker-y, controlling a seagull. Then begin we shall. Let my enemies duck and cover, for I am Baron Von Hattencrapper. Alright, so... This is going to be a really annoying control control scheme, but whatever. So is there going to be like a delay on this? Okay, yeah, there is. Do 1337 damage. Stuff. Oh, dang it. This is the stupid crane minigame all over again. Enemies move. Um, come on. Yeah, we did it. What are you doing? Why are you going in circles? Get to the north. All right, go. Oh, there's two of them here. I didn't know that. Let's just let it drop. Come on, two at once, please. No. Zero at once. Yeah, that wasn't even close. Luckily, there's no limit, as far as I can tell. Alright, south we go. South is harder to do from this camera angle. But whatever. Dang it. Can we, like, turn around real quick? That's what I'm talking about. That was some sniping there. Alright, guys. Got this guy over here. Maybe he's the last one. I genuinely don't know. Maybe there's more over here. All right. Uh, right now. Hooray! That was the last. I must admit, Kebab, we make a good team. Perhaps it is wiser to have you as an ally than an enemy. I've been thinking the same. I'd be flinching and avoiding imaginary cannonballs every time I heard a squawk otherwise. Shouldn't you return to your ship? Your companion will be able to dock now the port is undefended. I was about to, actually. Before you suggested it. Before you suggested it. Um, of course, Kebab. Of course. Alright, I guess we're diving back. 
Yes, I will swim using my level 99 swimming skill. And then I have to go upstairs because he's just sitting around up here where I can't see him. You're back, lad. How are you getting along disabling those guns? The guns are disabled, Captain. It's safe to approach the island. That's good to hear, Kebab. How did you go about it in the end? Well, the guns turned out to be barrel chests patrolling the beach with their cannon arms. I couldn't get close or I'd have been splattered by their anchors, so I telepathically com communed with a seagull, the nefarious Baron Von Hattencrapper, and controlled him to drop cannonballs on them. Just for once couldn't have been something normal like smashing them with a big hammer. Ah well, it's good news nonetheless. Want me to drop you off, lad? You can start your investigating now. So I came back to go investigate on the island I was just at. Alright, can you take me to Blood Splatter Island? Aye, Kebab, I'll drop you off. Signal me from the dock if you want picking up. Yep, well that was entirely pointless. But now we're up here, I guess. Because I have I have level 1 climbing on even wind stairs. Can't squeeze through that hole. Nonsense. Can't run around the edge of the island. Also nonsense. Can't get my shoes wet. Even though I just swam in the ocean. You know, but let's ignore that. Alright, so what are we supposed to do here? We're probably supposed to finish building the incomplete barrel chest, if I had to guess. Oh. Oh no, I got locked up. Erg, what hit me? Need to get out of here and back to Bill. Really? I have to get back to Bill? I kind of thought I would just do things. Do they make you do that? I'm going to read on this part of the thing. Um, Alright. Okay, yeah, we can just collect the things, I think, real quick. Alright. Nope. Outer barrel, sure, I'll take that. I'll take a barrel as well. I'll take some bandages, I guess. Um, is that everything? No, there's a crate here I can search from. I don't think you can even get to those crates, but they have a search option. All right, well, we'll return to Bill and see if he has anything interesting to say, but otherwise, I don't really think we need to do anything. But it did specifically say I had to get back to him, so, you know, we'll take the dialogue at its heart and go back and speak to him. Through a very convoluted method of having to signal his ship, which isn't staying at the island. Captain, I have a problem. Well done for finally admitting it, lad. That's half the battle. What? No, I mean there's a problem with the investigation. The complex is heavily guarded by zombie surgeons using precision thrown sedatives. I can't get inside. That certainly is a problem, lad. Couldn't you get in at all? There's a storage area just inside the complex I can access. It had a bunch of medical supplies and what looked like a dismantled barrel chest on a shelf. That gives me an idea, lad. You could walk freely around the complex if you looked like one of them, I'd wager. You're going to need parts for your disguise. Go and grab a roll of bandage, a surgical mask, and a bundle of parts from the storeroom. Then grab a barrel from me hold. Once you've got all that, come to see me, and we'll build ye a disguise. Aye, Captain. I've gathered the things you asked for. Good work, lad. Let's knuckle down and build ye a disguise then, shall we? Aye, Captain. Right, take that there thingamy and jam it on that who's it. And now for the finishing touch. There, we're done, kebab. Wait, what's that on top? Oomph, oomph, oomph. Yes, I agree. That be our pretty little friend, lad. Finishes the disguise ni nicely, uh, don't you agree? And she'll keep her mouth shut, too. I stuffed it with bandage and stuck that mask on to make sure of that. Well, I guess it's time I take her out for a spin. Aye, you should be able to wander around inside the facility freely now, so get back in there and get investigating. Good stuff. Um, can you take me there? Alright. 
would have been nice if I could have just stayed here instead of having to leave constantly just to talk to him. But whatever. Oh, come on. You can't search here. Oh, whatever. Oh. So I have to step inside before they'll let me put it on. Alright, look at us now. Now that I'm disguised, I should hunt for incriminating evidence. Okay. Yep. This is definitely a scene there. Yeah, look at that. I don't know how I see out of here, actually. Is there a way for me to see? They did not include any way for me to see here. That's cool. Alright, oh, I'm very slow as well. Alright, so what do I do? I'm going to actually use the guide for this. There's a notice board within five rooms. Alright. So I have to go search the notice boards then. Apparently we can also do some other things. Like sabotage. Um, I need to deal with some surgeons first. I don't know how to deal with some surgeons. I don't even know what surgeons we're talking about. Um, let me see. What room am I in? I am in the southeast room. Which one is the southeast room? Um... Alright, you know what? We'll just do it in the order the guide says, so that I don't have to worry about it. They say the southwest room first, so, you know, we'll go there. How do we distract a disorderly? Ye be needed elsewhere, down the hall. Oh, I? Needed by who? And where be the shift change papers? Er, never mind, I uh, mistook ye for someone else. Then leave me be and get back to your post. I think I'm going to need another way to distract his attention. I agree. What does it say? Ah, we got a sabotage. What just happened to me? I'm under attack. Whatever. There's some sabotage for you. Can I attack in this form? Oh good, I can. Go away, grim turn. I attack very slowly is this form. Alright. So now we can tell a joke. Hey, I cleaned the hole in me boat this morning. It were covered in barnacles. Har har har. Alright. Are we actually, like, needing to do this? Or can we just... Okay, well, fine. I'll tell jokes to all of them. So three pirates walk into a bar. Har har har. Good stuff. Your mum's fat. I know she is. She'd be like an undead house. Har har. Okay. Oh. Okay. That took a turn. With all the guards in this room, I should be free to investigate now. Yes, investigate I will. Let's see now. Aha, what's this? There we go. We got a suspicious letter thing that we put in an evidence thing. I don't think there's anything else in here that matters. Alright, so what's the next room? The westernmost room. We need to stun the Grim Turns by using the cannon. Alright. Does this actually matter? Like, can't I just kill him anyway? Oh good, he went where I can't reach him. Okay, he's back. Die, dang it. Get back here. Said get back here. Can I get to this one? This really doesn't seem necessary. This does seem very annoying though. Can we just kill him? Come on, hit 999 again. Alright, well that one's dead. Okay, yep, you are really dizzy. Uh, okay, where am I going? Like, do I actually care about this? I don't think I do. I think we just kill him. 
Phew, that's the last of them. Now I need to investigate that nose board. Alright, nose board investigated. Good stuff. Okay. Um, I guess we do this. Alright, you be needed. Uh, excuse me? Darby, hick, rum, in me tum. Alright. Yep, we don't have to worry about these. Investigate notice board. Well, now I've dealt with the cunning guards in this room, I can investigate. Let's see now. Aha, what's this? I mean, they're not guards, they're patients. There's a big difference. Alright. So we need to mess around with some arms here. And they won't notice that. They will notice you looking at a notice board, but they won't notice you, like, sabotaging stuff right in front of them. Yeah, that's very stealthy there. Yep, the, the dialogue's even making fun of me. Oh well. In fact, it's gonna make the same joke three times, apparently. That's all of them. I should stand back. This could get messy. Yep, I'll just automatically walk out of the room. Now what? All right, be time, lads. Let's get started on this latest batch. Hi, boss. Hi. I wish this metrics thing would not do that. Ouch, that looked painful. How is that even possible? That's not meant to bend like that. My eyes. Please, make it stop. Alright. I think it's safe to investigate now. And investigate I will. Through the wall, apparently, is what he's trying to do. What's weird is that they're not, like, actually free, so I don't know how that worked. Let's see now. Aha, what's this? Alright, what next? What next? Um, we need three barrels and three gunpowder. Apparently we have to be in human form to do this. I don't know why. Can we just do that right here? Ah, cool, we can. Oh. Well, okay. I kind of thought that I would only get hit if I actually went in a room that had someone in it, but apparently not. Oh well, let's go take some powder, and we will take some barrels, and we will be good. They could have just had you take enough from the first time. Whatever. Oops, took too many. Oh well. Alright, so... We gotta combine the gunpowder with the barrel. And then get back in the disguise. And then... What do we do? I see. We gotta go talk to Mr. Attended. See what he has to say. Ah, there ye are at last. Give me a hand lifting the barrels onto the beds so I can finish your new brothers here. Or I mean, R, just a minute, matey. Hmm, I smell an opportunity for sabotage. I could make those barrel chests come in and go out with a bang. Yep. Let's go ahead and help him out. Really, they would like have things inside the barrel and notice that they were wrong. That's the room rigged. I just need to set one of them off now. My disguise should shield me from most of it. Nice. That was not very much damage at all. Oh well, he's dead. Let's see now. Aha, what's this? I think this is enough evidence. I should go back to Bill Teach. Alright, I guess we have to walk all the way over here before we take off our disguise, because even though we've killed everyone, they probably still will show up and murderize me with sleepy potion stuff. That's just how it works. I think this is far enough. I want to be able to run. All right, now we can run. Let's get out of here. I think we're almost done now. Not quite, though. We still got a little bit left. 
Yes, I will signal the adventurous. If they're close enough to see you, then they're close enough to the island to be seen, in my opinion. Oh well. I've performed some heavy sabotage on the facility and accrued a lot of evidence pointing to the involvement of Rabbit Jack and backing up the story about the attack on Mostly Harmless. Let's see it then, lad. This is grave news indeed, lad. You need to go and finish the job before it's too late. You shouldn't need to wear that barrel chest disguise inside anymore, Kebab. You've wiped out all the guards now. I'll keep it with me in case we need it in future. Alright, Captain. Time to finish in their house what they started in mine. Here, Kebab. Take these and level that production line. Aye, Captain. Anything else, lad? Can you take me to the island so I can actually do it? Sure. I like how he's like, you need to go do this thing, and then he just like would end the conversation there and just have you stand around instead of automatically taking you. Makes total sense. He wants to bet that if I'd taken the outfit off, they would have gotten me before he said that it was safe. Probably, right? But alright, so we got these large machines. We got this barrel. Do I just like use it on a machine or something? No? Where do I use it? Uh, do I, like, use it on the conveyor belt? No? Oh, do I have to activate the conveyor belt before I use it on it? If I turn this machine on, the conveyor belts will start, and I should be able to send explosive kegs along them into the machinery. Any nearby guards will hear me. Sure. Alright, time to get to work. Um, can I, like, load the keg, please? Alright. Yep, so are we blowing up the zombies, then, instead of the machines? I don't know. Genuinely don't know. Like, I thought we were blowing up the machines, not the zombies, but whatever. I'll just keep sending bombs down everywhere, because there's no limit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He almost got through. I'm too busy goofing off launching bombs everywhere. No more? Okay, this one's definitely getting damaged. Yeah, okay, so we are supposed to damage him then. Good stuff. Then I'll send another one down. After him. Hey, you can't walk down the conveyor. You'll be even faster with it not running. Get out of here. Um. Um. Oh, okay. Alright, we did it. I don't know, that I kind of expected more when they got down to the end, but apparently I was okay with it. Also, nice chain reaction there. Alright, well, I think we're done here. All the zombies that magically appeared are gone. Wait, what? What remaining zombies? Are you telling me I have to do that crap again? Okay. Well, whatever. I have no idea what they're talking about with this message down here. Because apparently I have one, but they are wrong. We will return to Bill Teach and hope that we have succeeded. Yes, return to the adventurous yet again, going back and forth constantly. He must be sick of this. What are you still doing here, lad? Um, yeah, what should I be doing now? Oh. He wants me to... Okay. Yeah, I... I don't exactly know what you're talking about, but okay. I blew up the machine. What else do I have to do? I guess we'll figure it out. I must have missed something. We can jump a wall, apparently. What, they just want me to go over there now? Can do, I guess. Yes, as I leave the area, blah blah blah. Alright, so what's over here then that is so important? 
Doesn't look like much to me. Ah. Hold it right there, evildoers. You'll never stop us now, Kebab. Say hello to our secret weapons. Our Zomboat Armada will lay waste to Mostly Harmless. Come back here. I need to catch them somehow. Hmm. Time to use my sailing skill. Man, swimming, climbing, sailing, all the good skills. So does firing, like, actually... Okay. Alright. Oh gosh, they got a lot of health. I mean, it is Migor. I would expect him to have health. I don't know how much health I have. Come on. Okay, well, whatever. We'll fight Murphy then. Oh, dang it. They all have that much health? Do they repair, I wonder? They probably repair. That's probably why he ran away. If I had to guess. Alright, well, we killed one of them, at least. I could repair, but... I don't know if I need to. I don't actually see my health. Oh, well, I healed one, so that's something. Alright, have you healed, Migor? I need to hit him to find out. Oh, okay, I sunk. Where does it show health? I don't know if the ones that I've killed come back. They probably do, right? Is Murphy here somewhere? I can't tell. Yep, there he is. Alright, so I have to worry about my health, but I didn't actually see a health marker, so that's kind of annoying. Okay, well, this is all green now, so that's probably a good sign, right? Maybe you just hadn't loaded the health last time. Alright, does Zomboat have any danger to me? Can we get close enough to Zomboat here? Alright, so that is the health bar down there. I think it was just glitched on the first go. Okay, good. The regular Zomboats have a lot less health. It's just Murphy and Migor that are going to be the tough ones. Okay, come on. Nope. Okay, we cannot fight two at once. Get out of here, Zomboat. Get out of here. I don't want to go over here. Alright, I'm going to repair now. Yeah, but it's nice that the health bar is actually working this time, because that kind of got me killed. Not knowing that I had health. Alright, okay. Let's kill the regular Zomboats, because the less there are out here, the less likely I am to just die. Come back, Zomboat. I'm not sure what makes these Zomboats. Are there actual, like, zombie parts in here, or what? Alright, come on. We gotta intercept him. Ow. Come on, reload the cannon. Come on, why can I not hit this one? There we go. There we go. Alright, now I should be safe to repair for a little bit, because these guys... Uh oh no, I think he's out of range, maybe. Nope. Ow. Oh, well, since they're not aggressive, like, they're not going to stick around usually close enough to actually keep hurting you. All right, so now we just got to kill these two. Just take them on one at a time. Should be fine. And then we'll be done. I got to say, it doesn't really feel like the storyline in this is winding down for the last quest. But, you know, I think Pieces of Hate is a pretty long quest. Can we shoot at this guy, please? Thank you. Like, he's gonna kill me before I even, like, decide to shoot at him at this rate. Ow. Ow. There we go. Alright. Now we gotta get up to full health for the final showdown. Because I'm sure he'll do similar amounts of damage if I'm unlucky. Okay, this isn't particularly challenging. It's just... You gotta do it right, otherwise you will lose. And last one, there we go. Alright, Migor, you're over here somewhere. There you are, hiding in a corner. How cowardly. Kinda bad that one boat can take out five. 
You guys need to train yourselves more. Come on, get in range. There we go. Come on. First hit. Yes, please just sit still for this. Ow, he definitely has the most health. He'll be back, I'm sure. Yay, I win! Phew, I think I stopped them all. I'm just... Time I sailed back to the Adventurous to talk to Bill. Way anchor, toot toot! Yes. Because that's definitely a thing that boats do in this game is say toot toot. I saw the battle from here, Kebab. Good sailing. Didn't want to help, though. Thanks, Captain. Come on, lad. We cannot do any more damage around here. Let's sail back to Mostly Harmless and meet in Joe's basement. Um, Joe's is in Northern Mostly Harmless. We know. We've been there. You don't need to tell me where he is when we've already been there like three times today. He thinks I'm really dumb, doesn't he? Still don't know why this is getting highlighted either. It is kind of strange. What will it be? This same conversation, that's what it'll be. Time to go through the dirt again. For the last time today, there we go. It is very, very sudden how that happens. Well, lad, he did it. You stopped the attack on Mostly Harmless, and you've proved to me that you know who is back. I had hoped this day would never come. Well, it has, Captain, and we need to do something about it. What should we do next? It'd be time to prepare now, Kebab, to prepare for war. I need time to make the necessary arrangements and gather the captains together. Without Gentleman Mallard, the council will be needing a new head. I guess it's up to me, since it's only me you've shown that you know who has returned. Thanks for that, lad. Guess I should get started. What became of our pretty little friend? I've kept her in custody, Kebab, along with your disguise. We may just need it again one day. What do you need me to do, Captain? You've done more than enough for now, Kebab. You train yourself up and prepare when the time comes, I'll contact ye. For now, ye just enjoy your victory. And there we go, quest complete. Very nice. Got a whole lot of stuff here. We got the rum gin, we got the, the teleport sheet, and a whole bunch of random XP. Some of it in skills we actually do need XP in. No levels gained, though. We can go ahead and do this. What do we got here? Phoenix lamp, magic logs, great. Junk and more junk. Phoenix lamps have a chance to not get used. It's kind of overpowered in some ways. Oh well. Anyway though, yeah, that is another quest down. We got one more quest in the line. We'll probably do Pieces of Hate, I would say next month in April. Um, not guaranteed, but uh, as far as upcoming quests, though, I want to do Legacy of Seergays and um, the Slug Menace. So those will probably be the next two quests we do. Um, obviously, the next episode will be a non-quest episode, most likely. Not entirely sure what we'll be doing yet, but I'll figure it out. See you then.